What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're going to be starting our Town Hall 12 free to play series. That's right guys, the time has finally came and our Town Hall 12 is ready to go. The upgrade just finished, we're going to get that plus 5 hero boost, we're going to get that power boost on our troops, we're going to get that brand new resource boost and of course the star bonus boost just to help us get going at Town Hall 12. Today we're going to be discussing all of the brand new things that you get at Town Hall 12, including that brand new Giga Tesla. That's right guys, the Town Hall will now attack back and this is going to be a huge factor at at Town Hall 12. Uh, this is something we're going to want to upgrade and take advantage of. We're going to talk about all that here today and more. So make sure you guys leave a like on the video, subscribe, and turn on all those notifications because we're going to talk about what to upgrade first, what to upgrade in the lab, and when to do it right here today so before we get into what to upgrade and when to upgrade let's talk about the new buildings that we get here at town hall 12 we get the brand new workshop this is going to allow you to create siege machines and if you're in a clan with not a lot of town hall 12s or 13s this is going to be a very important building for you to get done right away that way you can start unlocking those siege machines luckily for me i have multiple accounts so i can actually kind of wait a little bit on the workshop but if you are not able to get siege machines or if you want to build your own for farming or to donate to your other accounts get the workshop right away defenses we're just going to get a couple new defenses here we're going to get a brand new hidden tesla which is going to be pretty cheap and only a three hour upgrade and then we're going to get an inferno tower which is going to be a little bit expensive four and a half day upgrade but it's also something we don't need to rush into getting right now because there's other higher priority upgrades to get done right away at town hall 12 so the defenses, you can grab that Tesla if you want. If you got a half a million gold laying around, go ahead and grab it. Uh, we're also going to get some brand new traps. We're going to get two new spring traps. We're going to get a giant bomb, and we're going to get an air bomb and another seeking air mine. And honestly, for all these, they're really cheap. So you can actually go ahead and just grab all these real quick, throw them on your base. And these are little things that you can upgrade you know when you have a builder free and you don't have a ton of loot maybe you're doing you know a lot bigger of an upgrade you can just throw down one of these little guys here and it's going to be a lot cheaper for you uh and it's going to help you out in the long run because traps make a big difference on the base now now that we've talked about all that again workshop depends on where you're at as a player i don't need to rush into the workshop personally but you may need to i would rather personally spend that loot elsewhere right now so let's talk about it right now on the base here are my priorities uh, we don't have to upgrade any of our resource buildings we don't have to upgrade our spell factory or our dark spell factory which is really nice uh, that way we don't have to worry about being without spells at any point and then a lot of our traps from town hall 11 as long as you maxed out are going to be done uh, really the only thing that we need to upgrade is the air bombs all the other traps besides the new ones that we placed are done the air bombs need to go up to level six so nothing really crazy there as far as building upgrades go the town hall is probably one of the most if not the most important defensive upgrade you can make at town hall 12 uh, this is going to eventually unlock that giga bomb uh, it's going to allow that giga tesla to do more damage and when you get it to level five it's going to drop a giga bomb that's going to do 1000 damage to all the troops in the surrounding area which makes a huge difference people have to base their attacks on where the town hall is when they're coming to the town hall you want to get that unlocked really really soon really really quick in here uh, so we'll, we'll get there really soon but we also have our clan castle that needs to go up we're going to get five more capacity on troops which is going to allow you to bring like a pekka and an ice golem which is really nice or uh bring in more balloons a dragon and four balloons an electro dragon and two balloons it's going to allow you to bring a lot more options but notice the cost here the cost is 12 million we can only hold 10 million and this is going to be true for some of these defenses uh even the town hall when you get higher up there it's going to be a little bit more expensive so the storages are actually going to be a pretty high priority here at town hall 12 and since we're going to be free to playing this i'm going to wait until i get those storages maxed out before i use any rune of gold that way i get the maximum value out of it so uh, what I'm going to do is I want to get that clan castle up because it makes an immediate impact. It's going to make an immediate impact on defense. You're going to be able to hold more troops on defense and you're going to be able to hold more troops on offense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that hammer building that I've been holding on to because we've been, you know, saving up from CWL. We've had this hammer building. I can't actually upgrade this clan castle, but with the hammer of building, I can. I don't need the loot and I don't have to worry about the upgrade time. This is a two week upgrade. This is going to be your best value 
early on in Town Hall 12. So we're going to go ahead and commit our hammer of building to that clan castle. And there we go. The clan castle is done. It can be moved over here. So there we go. Clan castle is done. Now, another thing you should consider upgrading really early, and you should get done really early, is going to be the laboratory. Get this done ASAP. That way you can start upgrading troops. I happen to have a book of everything left over from clan games or something. I'm going to go ahead and use that on my laboratory. That way I can get some troops going in the lab. And we'll talk about the lab here momentarily uh, as we get going here. But we'll talk. We'll come back to the lab. Uh, and then as far as everything else goes, heroes are really big. You're going to want to get your queen up. Remember, heroes go to 65, 65, and 40. So you got a lot of warden levels here. So you're going to want to get your queen up to 65 as soon as possible. You're going to work on that warden up to 40. Uh, so don't ignore, ignore your heroes. It's going to be a lot of work to get them down. Obviously, your army camps. You want to get your army camps going up as soon as possible. The army camps are going to make an immediate impact, giving you more camp space. And this holds true at pretty much every town hall. It's going to give us more camp space. Why wouldn't we want that? So uh, these are pretty high priorities. These are things you need to get done right away. Even this town hall needs to be done pretty early on uh, because you want to get all of that loot going. We can also upgrade all of our storages. Now, the elixir storages aren't as big of a deal. But if you are like wanting to get more value out of a rune of elixir, I guess that's where you go. Uh, but honestly, like they're not as big of a deal as the gold storages because the gold storages are literally going to allow us to upgrade some of the defenses. And another thing, if you have any runes of a dark elixir, you can upgrade your dark elixir storage one more level, allowing you to hold a little bit more dark elixir in there. So that's something to keep in mind. Now let's talk about the barracks. So the dark barracks is going to allow you to unlock the headhunters. And these guys are going to be really nice. You can use an ice golem and like two headhunters to take out like an enemy queen. It's actually really, really nice. Uh, and then in the barracks, we can actually unlock the yetis. Now me personally, I don't use yetis a ton at Town Hall 12, like Yeti Smash or anything like that. I don't really use them. However, if you're going to use them to donate, maybe it's a higher priority for you. But this is something the Yetis, I feel like we can wait on. Uh, even the Headhunters aren't like urgent. Like the Headhunters are kind of situational uh, and also like for donations and clan castles. But the barracks are something like you can kind of wait on, guys. Like these aren't something you really have to urgently get up right this moment. Like you can wait just a few and kind of get them unlocked as you get going. As far as the elixir goes, I would put my elixir into the army camps and the storages. Honestly, like the storages are probably the move right now. They're pretty cheap at three million a piece. I think we have a little bit of loot staying around here. Uh, yeah, so we could actually we could start working on our storages. Storages might even be a higher priority than the army camps, uh, just so you can get some of these other things upgrading and going and also if you have like that rune of elixir going to get that going as well as far as defenses go at town hall 12 it's pretty standard defensive upgrade priority however we do get that brand new town hall that's a weapon so again you want to get that up really early on here guys uh we i'm actually okay dropping a builder onto it right now just to get it going to level two it's that important and we could even go in here and we can grab that brand new tesla and we could throw it down here as well it's a pretty Pretty cheap upgrade that's only going to take three hours so we can get that going as well uh the eagle we got to wait until we get our gold storages up the town hall eventually we'll have to get 12 million gold i mean a lot of this look inferno towers are 11 million uh the expo is 12 million so we can't even do like our first high priority or high dps area until we get those storages up uh even like the wizard towers same thing so that's why those storages are so important like the uh gold storages are super important for these reasons i do say get that tornado trap going up pretty early because it's going to make an immediate impact adding a full second in there to that tornado duration and that's something we could probably actually i might have some loot let's see oh yeah we got some loot in here that we could actually throw in and let's go ahead and get that tornado trap going here today as well so that way we can get that moving again we'll revisit the lab and then i like to go as far as like after i get like the big defenses up honestly once i like get my storages my army camps up that's when i'm going to go ahead and drop that third inferno uh and kind of work on that and so then we could work on like walls we could work on these little baby traps and all that kind of stuff uh, and then like we'll start working on like this priority of stuff the wizard towers are going to attack ground and air with splash which is going to be really nice uh, a lot of people are using dragons and electro dragons at town hall 12 
So air defenses and slowing down air attacks is really strong. So I like the air defenses. I like the sweepers and even the Tesla farms. Like a Tesla, a well-placed Tesla farm can really ruin an attack. And then we go archer towers, bomb towers, mortars, and then finally cannons to finish that off. But what about troops? What should we upgrade at the laboratory? So the Town Hall 12 lab is really, really tricky because it kind of depends on how you play, how you attack. Uh, if we notice here, our healers are already maxed out. We don't have those yetis. And again, I personally don't use yetis a lot at town hall 12 so your lab's going to kind of depend on what you use and what you like to use notice our heal spell our jump spell and our clone spell are already maxed out if you max town hall level or not maxed out but they're maxed out for town hall 12 same thing with our earthquake and our haste those are 100 max so we don't have to worry about those and we'll eventually get like siege machines and headhunters but even those aren't like top of the priority list for me like it, it depends on how you're playing for me i like to use a lot of five icg still at town hall 12 which means i like witches early on a lot of people aren't going to like that and i'm not going to do a separate lab guide because town hall 12 kind of depends on how you play the game guys there's no like hey do this and you're right it really depends at this point how do you play the game? How do you attack? How are you farming? How are you warring? Uh, for me, I'm going to upgrade witches really early on. Look at that boost they get. They get some nice level. You can actually get max super witches at Town Hall 12. And that's why I like this upgrade first. is because you can use these super troops in war in really if you want to farm but max super max super witches are really really strong and i've crushed a lot of tunnel 12s so my very first upgrade is going to be the witches you notice i do have that hammer of fighting but i'm going to hold on to that i'm going to go ahead and use the book of fighting here uh that we have uh so after the witches what do you use with the witches well there's a lot of different things to use with the witches you can use the ice golems you can use the bowlers for the five icg you can use the uh the regular golems with the super witch or the super wizards uh you can use bat spells with them there's a lot of options uh but like what are you gonna farm with that's the big question you should ask yourself how are you farming so another thing to consider when you're going into this at town hall 12 is do you struggle farming are you okay farming with not max troops remember we do have power potions and we do have that five day boost uh so that can hold off but one of the biggest upgrades you can do at town hall 12 are the balloons check these guys out they get a huge damage per second increase they get a huge boost of damage when destroyed a huge 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 hit point boost so if you're a good lalo attacker balloons may be the way to go for you uh but before I even think about that, I wanted to go check my metals and I want to buy a hammer of spells because again, I like five ICG. I like bats, especially at town hall 12. So I'm going to spend 120 metals and I'm going to go back into my laboratory here and we're going to go ahead and upgrade the bat spell. This is a huge boost from town hall 11 to town hall 12. If you know how to use bats, it is massive. And it's not just five ICG. Uh, there's Pekka Bobat. You can use Yeti Bobat. Again, I don't use Yetis a lot at Town Hall 12, but the Pekka Bobat still works. You can use Drag Bat. Look at the boost you get in bat count. You get plus five bats, which that's massive, guys. That's huge. So I'm going to go ahead and use that Hammer of Spells to get that bat spell all the way up and then again from there it really just depends on what you use like what are you going to use for farming what are you going to use for warring uh i don't know like it's, it's a tough decision on that first couple of upgrades because if you upgrade your balloons you kind of have to upgrade your hounds for war i mean you can use them without uh but one of the options i think is going to be really nice is actually going to be miners uh because miners is going to allow us to farm with queen walk miners remember our healers are already maxed our heal spells are already maxed so we can actually use miners to farm early on and we could start learning the hybrid which i think at town hall 12 is when you really should start learning hybrid so i'm going to go ahead and commit that hammer of fighting to my miners and then we'll get our hogs up eventually as well and then i'll keep working on you know getting our bowlers our ice golems uh but i'm going to use the miners to farm early on and then from there we can get you know depending again depending on how you play we can get the hogs to complement the miners we can throw those guys together we can go with the bowlers and the ice golems to complement our witches but again super witches you can just use super witches by themselves and it is nasty guys i'm telling you it is nasty and one of the things i wanted to touch on real quick is take a look at the price of these troops 11 million 12 million again we're gonna have to get those storages up to be able to upgrade some of these elixir troops it's a big factor here at town hall 12 you have to get these storages up so what i did was i went ahead and i collected the loot that i had kind of throughout here uh so oh no 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 oh my goodness we just wasted that oh no that's not what i wanted at all 
Oh man, guys, we just messed up bad. I wanted just to use that six million to upgrade the gold storages. Oh man. All right, well, we just wasted a rune of gold. We'll have to get that going. Uh, so I was gonna go like this and then get that going up. Oh, I guess we can't even do that. Oh man, guys, we, we messed up bad. Let's uh, use a few gems there uh, to get that up. That way we can go ahead and go here. Oh, fail, boys, fail. And then what I was gonna say is uh, <laughs> that we could use that rune of elixir to really, like, we could upgrade, like, our baby dragons just so we have something going in our lab. But now I'm not so sure that I even want to do that since I just failed so hard. So I think what I am going to do, man, I can't believe I just did that. Uh, I was just talking about saving that rune of gold. So I think what I am going to do is we're going to waste the 2 million gold, potentially, or 2 million elixir. We're going to go ahead and fill up our elixir storage uh, because it's going to take us a little bit of time to get some stuff upgrading anyways. So we'll go ahead and get these baby dragons going. It's a two-week upgrade. That way, while we're working on this other stuff and waiting, uh, we'll be able to have something in the lab upgrade. I can't believe I failed that so hard, guys. So there we have our Town Hall 12 guide again get your lab up early get that clan castle up early get the town hall up early and then work on your army camps your storages honestly i think storages might be higher than army camps at town hall 12 and then the lab just depends on how you play the game guys but remember you're gonna have to get those storages up to get a lot of these troop upgrades going so keep that in mind as you're playing through here at town hall 12 uh i'm gonna have to probably wait a little bit i guess yeah, because I'm not going to be able to jump that because this is our free-to-play account. Let's see, do we have anything over here? We don't really have that much gems over here. I was going to say, do we have enough gems to kind of uh, jump up something? But we're going to just have to wait a little bit. But I'm going to start to farm. I'm going to start to get ready for our next episode. Uh, and we'll just start playing this account and uh, working on it as we get going here. Maybe we'll work on the Builder Hall, which maybe we'll just go ahead. Should we take this Builder Hall up right now, guys? Uh, that way we can work on getting that auto hut as well for our brand new Town Hall 12. Let's put, I think that's the move right now uh, because rushing Builder Hall isn't really the end of the world. I'm trying to get us some gems since it's the free play. I haven't cleaned this out in a little bit. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit to get a builder since I, I messed up. I went into like panic mode after I messed up. I needed to keep my cool. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's upgrade the Builder Hall here. Uh, that way that'll be done soon as well. So we'll kind of pair those together. Uh, but there we have it, guys. Our Town Hall 12 free-to-play is underway. Upgrade your army camps, upgrade your laboratory, upgrade your clan castle, get that Town Hall going up, and then get those storages up, uh, because without it, you're going to have a little bit of work to do. Uh, so... Hopefully this was a little bit helpful for you guys. Again, the lab is going to depend on how you play as a player. The Baby Dragon upgrade is also really nice because we can use those to farm if we really want to. Uh, so, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing. While you watch that whole video, here's another video that YouTube thinks you'll like. And here's a playlist of similar videos.